15 weeks pregnant was definitely something. I started to see movement. Hey everyone, so today is going to be my 14 to 15 week pregnancy update. So I forgot to film my 14 weeks separately and my 15 weeks separately. So I'm just going to combine the two together. And as always, I got everything written down on my phone because I honestly can't remember everything that happened during those two weeks. So let's get right into this. So at 14 weeks, I was still throwing up. As most of you guys know, I was throwing up at 13 weeks as well. So 14 weeks, I was still throwing up. I now start to experience round ligament pain, which is kind of like a stretching pain or stretching feeling in your stomach. So pretty much like right here, I would feel it. And it literally feels like someone is pulling your skin. That's what it feels like. And for me, I was feeling it earlier on, like maybe 12, 13 weeks, and it wasn't that bad. It was kind of just felt like, like a light stretch, but at 14 weeks, it went up a notch. Like it just, it was very, 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 very painful. And it was happening at nighttime when I was ready to sleep. It was super painful. At that point, I figured that, you know what? I think it's time for me to start moisturizing my stomach. So if you have seen my pregnancy Q&A video, I did show you guys what I'm using on my belly. So this is pretty much just 100% shea butter. Um, you don't have to get the exact one that I have. You just need 100% shea butter. And then you go ahead and add your favorite oils to your shea butter. So I went ahead and I added olive oil, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, and bio oil. And I kind of just eyeballed it. I just threw it in and mixed it up. No specific recipe or anything. I just kind of just threw in a little bit of everything and mixed it up. And I just take about a quarter size amount, melt it down in my hands and rub it all over my stomach, get it into my belly button, under my boobs. So I pretty much would do that about two times a day in the mornings after I shower and then at night before I go to bed. So also at 14 weeks, I started noticing that I was able to wear high-waisted skirts and high-waisted shorts again, which was awesome. If you watched my last pregnancy update, you guys will know that I was not able to wear any of my normal clothes. I was literally wearing really oversized baggy dresses and t-shirt dresses from about i want to say eight weeks to 14 weeks i was dressing that way just wearing the same few outfits every single day and just rotating between those outfits so at 14 weeks i was finally able to wear dresses with a waistband bras again um, high-waisted whatever i was also able to wear my seat belt and not feel nauseous so yeah things definitely started to change i also will mention that i did actually start looking pregnant now before 14 weeks i was looking more bloated kind of fat a little bit in the belly area but now i actually look pregnant like my belly is really round it's hard and you can tell that I am pregnant. As for nausea, I feel like nausea was still there, but not as bad as before. It definitely was starting to subside. And whenever I do feel nauseous, I just quickly find something light to eat. And for the most part, my nausea was just strictly in the morning time. And as soon as I start feeling nauseous, I just quickly grab something very, very light and it just pretty much goes away. I feel like it's the baby telling me that it's hungry, so I need to eat or it's going to kick my stomach and make me throw up. So that's pretty much what I do. As soon as I start feeling nauseous, I race to the kitchen and I find something quick and easy, like some crackers or some cereal, just something just something small until I can make something bigger, like maybe some eggs and um, toast or something. I just eat something really, really light quickly. I will say at 14 weeks, I definitely start to feel a lot more active. I had way more energy. Um, I was able to, you know, go over to the house and do a lot more work around the house, um, water my garden, um, pick my tomatoes and peppers, you know, and not feel as tired, still a little bit winded. I still had enough energy to keep going. So that was a big change for me. So that is pretty much how 14 weeks went. I didn't take a bump shot. Um, but I will insert a photo of what my bump looked like at 14 weeks because I did take like some photos But I'm I'm not going to show you guys right now because I'm past 14 now and this video is a little bit late So so in the photo you guys can see that I am wearing a tight-fitting dress at 14 weeks I decided to Finally put on something that was more tight-fitting that would show off my body and you know, I just felt like myself again. Like I can wear all these little dresses that I probably wouldn't have worn before I was pregnant because I had a little bit of a pouch going on. My plan was to, you know, work on that, but then I got pregnant, so that kind of went out the window. So now that I am pregnant, I'm wearing all my tight clothes because I'm pregnant and it doesn't look like a fat belly. It just looks like a baby. 
So that's what I've been doing and I've been really really enjoying it So it, I guess it kind of builds confidence as well I would not normally wear something that close fitting with a bit of a pouch I would feel very insecure about it and if I did wear it I would be constantly sucking in so I don't have to suck in so now moving on to 15 weeks pregnant 15 weeks pregnant was definitely something I started to see movement I didn't feel it but I was seeing it so for example I was seeing movement I want to say after I shower so pretty much I would shower and then I would you know stand in a bedroom looking looking down at my belly and with my top up so I can see my my naked skin just kind of staring at my belly for maybe two minutes to five minutes just to see if I see anything because I was hearing that you can start seeing or feeling movement you know around 13 weeks and onward and I wanted to see if I would be one of those women that would actually see it really early on so I actually was able to see it and D was there as well and he saw it too so I think D was sitting at the edge of his bed and I was standing up in front of him so pretty much D's head is right here and he's staring at my belly and we're both kind of just looking at it and you pretty much kind of see like a wave and it almost looked like the baby was moving just a second ago but it almost looks like a wave right here on this side of my stomach and then I want to say that D started poking my belly not hard but he kind of was just you know pushing on it and then next thing you know we saw like the size of an adult human finger kind of poke my stomach out it was really weird. I can't even like show you how it looked, but it was it was like that. It was nice that D was actually able to see it because sometimes I feel like women probably feel like they're crazy because they would go to their significant other or family member or whatever and be like, hey, the baby's moving, look, 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 and then nothing happens. So that's kind of how I was feeling. Like I was telling D, like I'm feeling, like I'm seeing something, tell me if you see it. And he wasn't seeing it at first, but then after about five minutes, he saw like this finger, like it wasn't a finger, but like he saw like my skin or like my belly kind of push out and then it just stopped. So it was, it was weird. It was weird, but it was also kind of cool. Um, so we definitely started to see movement. I wasn't feeling it, but I was seeing it. 15 weeks, energy definitely picked up. It definitely went up another notch, a lot more than 14 weeks. So that was good. Again, I was doing my normal stuff again, watering the grass and the garden and picking my veggies. So I was very active. So one day I had woken up and I was feeling nauseous. And again, when I feel nauseous, I try my best to grab something quick and easy before I can make, you know, a nice little breakfast. I got up and I was feeling very nauseous. I went to the kitchen. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have no crackers. I don't have, sometimes I use croutons as my, as my little snack because it's quick and easy. And I had no crackers, I had no um, croutons. I was like, what am I going to do to get this baby to stop, you know, beating me up? So I quickly just grabbed a box of Fruit Loops and I honestly, as soon as the Fruit Loop touched my tongue, nausea was gone. And I was like, okay, that's a little bit weird. So anyways, I ate my, my Fruit Loops and I was good. I was able to make my breakfast and not have to throw up or run to the bathroom or whatever. The next day, same thing, nausea. I'm like, you know what, let me just get the Fruit Loops. I'm telling you, I'm taking down the box, take some out, put it one on my tongue, and nausea is gone. And this happened for the entire 15 weeks. Fruit Loops was my cure for my nausea. Even at one point, I was just picking, taking down the box. Like, the thought of me going to get the Fruit Loops, it kind of just kicked nausea out the window. I kind of feel like the baby kind of knows that I'm getting it, so they kind of just calm down. I don't know. That's just how I feel about the whole thing. Like, why is it that every time I go for the Fruit Loops, it just disappears and it doesn't come back? It's gone. Once I have the Fruit Loops, that's it. It's gone. So I guess the baby likes Fruit Loops. And I don't eat a lot of it. I just take about a handful. So I have about maybe 10 in my hand and I eat that until I can have a proper breakfast. So I guess the baby does like Fruit Loops. I'm not sure, but that is what I'm picking up from all of this. So still at 15 weeks and we are now on day five of 15 weeks pregnant and I actually had to get my hair done that day. And so I got up really early and I, you know, washed my hair and did my whole wash day routine and I was feeling so sick that day. And I tried Fruit Loops, I tried chocolate milk, I tried, I don't know, I tried apples, I tried everything. And this baby or whatever was going on was it was not working no, no type of food was working for me i don't know if it's what i had the night before i had corned beef and um 
plantain. If you grew up in the Caribbean, you probably eat corned beef a lot. And my dad had sauteed it and with some peppers and tomatoes and it was really, really, really nice. And I don't know, I guess the baby didn't like it or something and that morning I threw it all up. All of it, all of it just came out and it was very, it was very gross. It tasted nice, I mean the night before, but I, I don't know, I guess the baby didn't like it. Yeah, so I was very sick that day from the time I started washing my hair to um, the time I started blow drying it and then I had to go over to um, the hair stylist to get my hair braided. By that time I was feeling a lot better. I got myself a bagel and the nausea pretty much disappeared. So I don't know, it was a really rough day that day. Um, but after that, I went back to eating Fruit Loops in the morning and having my regular breakfast and I was fine. So I don't, I want to say it was the corned beef that the baby just wasn't agreeing with or maybe it was just my body not agreeing with it. I don't know. I normally eat it so it was a little bit weird. So we'll see in the future how things go with corned beef and me. So that is pretty much how 15 weeks went. Um, it was pretty good overall except for day 5 when I was really really sick. Um, but other than that, it was pretty smooth. Um, I mean, I've had worse days, worse weeks, but that's pretty much how week 14 and week 15 went. Unfortunately, I did not take a bump shot for week 15. I, instead, I just did a cute little photo for Instagram, and I'll insert that for you guys. And a lot of you guys, when you saw it, you were like, oh, she's having a girl, but we're not at that point yet where I know the gender. I don't know the gender still up to this point. I don't know the gender. Um, we will know in about a month or so. So you can definitely stay tuned for that. But honestly, I just have the pink blanket here in my room and I decided to put the, the board on top of the pink blanket because it was pretty and I love pink. And I put the little hat. I decided to use that as my background for my photo. Um, no, we do not know the gender and we won't know for another month or so. So yeah, so that is my update for weeks 14 to 15. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you are. And I will see you guys in the next one.